Hey everyone, I'm Jordy, and this is your guide to the hardest encounter in Phase 1 of Wrath of the Lich King, Sartharian the Onyx Guardian. Now, Sartharian is a modular boss. He sits in the center of the instance and is surrounded by three Twilight Drakes, each of which you can take on solo before tackling Sartharian himself. If you do choose to do that, you'll be rewarded with less loot per Drake you kill, and if you leave all three up, you'll get all the loot possible plus a Drake mount. Oh, and the achievement, the Twilight Zone, which gives the title of the Nightfall in 10-man and Twilight Vanquisher in 25-man. In this guide, we'll be going over the hardest version of this encounter, the three Drake variety, because it's the most interesting and likely what you'll want to be doing. Now, one thing to note is that if you don't need the mount, the two Drake variety is much easier and you still get all the gear you want. Just go kill one of the dragons and then turn your attention to Sartharian. Now I thought a lot about how to do this guide, because there are two ways to do it. First, and much more common, will be the Zerg strat. This is a full burn on the boss that most people will be doing. As the alternative, doing the fight normally, is actually much harder. I'm going to go over the Zerg strat in this guide, as I believe that will be what 95% of groups are going to do. If there's a lot of interest in seeing the fight done normally, I can tackle that too, but I really do feel that most people won't be doing the fight that way and don't want to waste my time or yours talking about something no one's going to use. Alright, as far as group composition for the Zerg strat, you'll want 1-2 to two tanks, 1-2 to two healers, and the rest of the raid DPS. Have any extra healers you might normally bring to a raid go spec whatever DPS they can muster for this, other than a single Holy Paladin or maybe a Disc Priest. Everyone else should try to pump as much damage as they can. It's important also to bring potions of speed for this, as you'll want to pre-pot and then pot again during the encounter to eke out that extra DPS, as the margin for error is pretty small here. Alright, so Sartharian has about 9.6 million HP, and at about 90 seconds into the pull, he'll go immune to damage because of something the second Drake does, so you need to pump about 4300 DPS on average from everyone in your raid. With one tank and one healer removed, not adding that much DPS wise, that number goes up to around 4650 from everyone. Now this is very doable in a raid with Priebus, and will get even easier as the phase goes on, but look at the numbers your guys are putting up and make a decision about what is best for you in your raid. Okay, so let's talk about a few things you'll need to watch out for. First, Sartharian does a breath, doing between 11 and 15,000 damage, so make sure he's faced away from the raid. On each side of the little island that he's standing on are lava pools, and at, the, at a few intervals throughout the fight, you'll get a warning that the lava around him begins to churn, and then you'll see these big waves of lava begin forming. These waves sweep across the battlefield, and if you're hit by them, you'll get a dot applied to you that does a huge amount of damage over time and will almost assuredly kill you. So look for the little breaks in the lava and duck between them to avoid it. He also will spawn Void Zones. These look similar to the ones on Kel'Thuzad. They target a player and appear beneath them, and if you're standing in it when the zone activates, you and everyone in the zone will die. Please avoid it. These can be kind of a pain in the ass to see, so watch your feet. He'll also summon Lava Blazes. These are little fire elementals that don't do too much damage, but if they're run over by the lava walls, they can frenzy and actually hit kind of hard. So if you have a second tank that can taunt them and get them into the melee stack to be cleaved, that works great. Hunters can also trank shot them if they frenzy, that also helps a lot. Alright, at about 30 seconds into the pull, Tenebron, one of the Twilight Drakes, will land. Your main tank should taunt it and just tank it for now while the raid continues pumping Sartharian. After some time, he'll summon a portal from which a bunch of whelps will appear. Now normally you'll have people take the portal and kill the eggs, that's the normal way to do it, but we're just going to avoid that and continue DPSing the boss, so just ignore them. Tenebron himself doesn't do too much until Sartharian hits 25%, so just have your tank keep him on him and keep pumping. Now around 75 seconds into the fight, a second drake, Shadron, will land. Now Shadron is the drake that causes Sartharian to go immune, so this is where your clock comes in. At about 15 seconds into him spawning, he'll make everything in the zone immune to damage, so you'll need to have Sartharian dead at this point or you will most definitely be wiping. One more thing to note, once Sartharian hits 25%, all the drakes that are alive get a giga enrage buff, increasing their damage by 500% and their attack speed. Now these things will likely kill your tanks, so we'll discuss how to deal with it in a second. Just be aware that these drakes are going to murder people unless they're dealt with in a very specific way. Okay, so these are the mechanics. Let's get into how the fight works. 
Now we did this the following way. I want to be clear, this is not the only way to do this fight. The meta for positioning is likely to change, strategies will get simpler, whatever, but this worked for us and it will work for you. First, you want to make sure you have all of your raid outfitted with potions of speed or even haste potions if you can't get your hands on them early on. You'll need that extra oomph from these things. Get used to doing pulls this way, this is the meta for all of Wrath. With 1-2 to two seconds left on the pull timer, pop one of these things and then pull. Have your tank face Artharian towards the lava and away from the raid while the rest of the group just blasts. Pop Lust, go ham, watch your threat. Now about 30 seconds in, two things are going to happen. First, Tenebron will land, have your tank taunt him and get him faced away from the raid. Also, around this time, you'll get a warning that the lava is churning. You should look around to see which side of the island the lava wall has spawned and where the openings are for you to duck between. Position yourself so that you can keep blasting while it goes by and keep pumping the boss. The tank may have to adjust slightly to fit between the waves, so keep an eye out and do your best to maintain uptime. As the lava blazes spawn, your second tank can pick them up and drag them onto Sartharian. Do your best to avoid them being hit by the lava wall. It adds damage to them and you should try to avoid it. Also, don't forget to keep an eye out for void zones. If anyone dies to this, it's going to be super hard to get your kill, so do your best to avoid it. Okay, now for the hard part. When Sartharian hits 25%, he'll cause any drakes on the battlefield to enrage and do an insane amount of damage. This will kill your tank, so you're going to assign a Feral Druid or a DK tank or really anyone with a taunt to max range ranged taunt Tenebron off your main tank and kite him away from the raid. We have our assigned person leave the melee stack at about 32%, and then when Sartharian is at 26%, you taunt ideally from about 30 yards away. Tenebron will chase him across the map, try to run away and avoid any damage from the drake. If you do get hit by anything from it, it will one-shot you. A clutch soul stone here can help too. If you go down, you can pop it and then taunt again, which keeps the drake rubber banding even longer and gives your raid just a bit more time to pump. A movement speed potion helps here, sprint, anything to increase your move speed as the dragon's pretty quick. One thing this kiting person should be aware of is if you're a certain distance away from Sartharian, he'll begin chucking Pyroblasts at you and stack a beat debuff that increases fire damage taken. So you'll want to keep a Hellstone handy in case you get low, pop AMS, whatever. Okay, so long as you've got that handled, the raid should have the boss about dead. If you've done enough damage, you won't see the immune and down Sartharian goes. The raid will ultimately wipe to whatever spawned adds there are, but who cares, you already won. Alright, let's talk about some tank tips. First, Sartharian's incoming damage can be pretty spiky. Consider weaving cooldowns during his breaths to help mitigate a lot of that. Also, keep your head on a swivel and look around for the lava walls. Try not to move Sartharian too much as you get between the waves as it can really mess with your DPS, but occasionally it's unavoidable so just call it out. You'll also want to make sure that you've got as many cooldowns as you can manage for the last section of the fight as there is a lot going on and your healer will be pretty busy. And for your Drake Kite person, you're kind of the most important member of the raid here as a single breath from Tenebron during the Enrage will cause a wipe. So study up, make sure you know exactly how to get away from it safely. And for some healer tips, well, for the one healer, sub 30%, shit gets kind of crazy. So do your best to keep that tank up and use whatever cooldowns you have to keep everyone else topped off. You also have to be aware of the flame walls and void zones, so avoid those. If you have to move, make sure your tank knows that he can plan accordingly. And for the DPS, do not die to flame walls or void zones. A huge majority of our wipes were to people standing in stupid places. You cannot afford to lose any DPS here, especially early in the phase, so watch your feet. Look for flame walls and pump, pump, pump. Remember, after you've pre-potted, to pop another potion of speed one minute in for that extra bit of DPS. This is not the fight to skimp on consumables, and Wrath is already way cheaper than vanilla or TBC ever were as far as that goes. Alright, well that's it for Sartharian. Like I said, this is just one strategy. We spent some time learning and downing him, doing the quote unquote normal way and had a blast doing it, but it was absolutely the harder of the two strategies, so I wouldn't recommend it if you're just looking to get your kill in. 
If you like this guide or learned anything, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps me a lot and I super appreciate it. I've got guides for Malagos out now, all the Heroic Dungeon achievements, and more Wrath stuff coming soon, so stay tuned. Alright, that's it for me. Good luck in the Obsidian Sanctum, and see you guys in the next one. Well, pick up the well, Louis. Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Oh my god. No, he's immune. 3 3k health. <laughs>